guys. Good morning. Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I'm doing okay. I am. I decided that since the hubs and the puppy are outside, uh, I want to play. I want to play in my um, journals. So we're going to start off with Crazy Eights. And you guys know how this works. And the prompts at the end of the video will be in the description box. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put out my cards. I always do it nice and neat and then they end up messed up like this. So we might as well just mess them up. All right. So let's start out. We're going to pick eight prompts. We're going to do a blue. Oh, let's do a red. So there's two. We're going to do a blue. And we'll take this red. So there's four. Uh, let's see. This side we're going to do red and then blue and then red and then blue just for something a little bit different all right so now we've got our eight prompts I gotta clean up my mess which is no big deal let's see what those prompts are I'm excited hang on just get this mess cleaned up all right so here's our eight prompts. Let's see what we've got. First one is turn your work upside down. Second one, add masking tape. Three, paint with your eyes closed. Oh boy. Four, add a square. Five, use your non-dominant hand. These all seem like the same ones. Six, wipe something off. Seven, paint with your fingers and eight scribble with ink wow this is interesting oh let's see how are we going to do this you know this is going to be crazy but I'm going to do this entire page using whoops let me bring back down using my non-dominant hand this is going to be interesting <laughs> um First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint with my eyes closed. Using my non-dominant hand, I'm going to then turn my work upside down. I'm going to add some masking tape. Um, then I'm going to paint with my fingers and then wipe some... Whoops, get back here. Paint with my fingers and then wipe something off. I'm going to add a square and I'm going to scribble with ink. How's that sound? All right, let's do this. So give me a second. Let me get my stuff together. Um, I have my journal here. Let's see what page we're on. This is going to be an interesting one. Not sure how well this one's going to turn out, but that was last month. Isn't that awesome? <gasps> I got a stick down my things I love those trees all right here we go now I've been looking at this and I want to finish this book up this year and I don't think I have enough so I actually have a few extra so I'm gonna do the whole page this time how's that sound <laughs> all right I'm gonna start out by using my non-dominant hand which is my left hand the first thing I'm going to do is paint with my eyes closed. Okay, let me get out the paint. Let me get out my masking tape, uh, that kind of stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got out my paint, and what I'm going to do is I have these three. These are golden. They're the basic colors. I've got blue, red, and yellow. And just because I'm going to be doing this with my eyes closed, I really don't want to mess up my paint jars. So what I'm going to do is just put some of this paint out on my palette and hope I do the best I can with my eyes closed. I got a bunch of blue in there. That's all right. It just turns purple. Okay. And let's get our yellow. Where are we going to put our yellow right next to the hand? I really don't want red and blue in my yeller. As I used to say, I used to hear that as a kid, yeller. All 
All right. So I've got my colors out. Um, I may do a little mixing. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Um, I may not. But what I'm going to do is I am going to close my eyes. First, I got to find my water. I need my rag. And what I'm going to paint with are these sponges. Oops. <clears throat> so who knows? I have no idea what this is. I'm going to put it on my left because it's my non-dominant hand. Um, what else? All right, so I'm going to paint with my eyes closed. I'm going to turn my work upside down. Okay. So we're starting out with number one. I'm going to use my dominant hand, and I'm going to paint with my eyes closed. So here we go. Ready? Close the eyes. I can't see nothing. And here we go. All right, this should be interesting. I hit some kind of paint. Don't know what it is. Feel like there's much paint on there. Oh, down, down hand. See how hard it is to try to go right to your regular hand. Um, all right. I hope that's good. So, what color I'm getting? So, I'm just gonna. I so bad want to use it in my right hand. Goes to the edge. There's the edge. This edge. This edge. Oh, let's put some more paint there. All right. I don't know what I've done, but let's. Where's the rest of them? Um. I like the feel of that one. I don't know the sponge. I thought I put the yellow somewhere down here. Yep, I found paint. I found paint! I can't do that. Stop, Cindy. There's my top. Wow, this is difficult. Oh, well, this is the edge. Stop. I can't. I keep wanting to change. It feels like there's nothing on there. Um, I keep wanting to change where I'm at. Like with my, my, um, uh, with my, what do I want to call it? This hand. There's paint right there. It seems like I'm ignoring this page over here. So let's make sure we got some paint on it. Seems like there's a lot of paint on here. It's it's like runs softer. I can tell where it's dry just by the way the sponge is moving. Come here, book. Now, I want to keep taking over. You notice that? My right hand wants to keep taking over. And it's very difficult. All right. Okay. Done with that. Ready? Oh, my God. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Very interesting. All right, so we did that. Hmm. Must be. To I've totally missed some spots. Oh. All right. So let me dry this up, and then we're gonna go on to the next step. All right. Oops. I gotta find my dryer. I push my. I have this desk under here that my dryer's attached to, and I pushed it underneath my desk. So my dryers are out of reach. All right, let me dry this up. All right, well, I dried it up a little bit. 
Okay, oops, I guess I'm on the counter. All right, so here's the next one. Turn my work upside down. Okay. Oops. There it is. Um, I'm going to add masking tape is next. I got this masking tape out because I had to put this line here on my desk because if not, I tend to go out of frame. I know, it's crazy. All right, I'm going to add masking tape. What am I going to do with this masking tape? I'm going to make like a... What I'm doing is I'm just making a little, I don't know, funky shape out of masking tape. Hey, that rhymed. Funky shape out of masking tape. No, it's just going to be texture. Why not? Because we said we could, right? It just said to ask Matt add masking tape. It didn't say how to do it. So I'm just kind of like, what I'm doing is I'm just pushing it in a little bit and then making like these bumps. See the bumps? Almost like an accordion type thing. Alright, so let's put these right here. Let's see. I'm going to have a few more. This one. Do do. Do do. Oops, I need that one. This is just a shout out to uh, Miss Vicki Brown. See, I can do accordion style in tape because I don't have to have a, a ruler. She'll know what I mean by that. Because, oh, there we go. She tried to get me to do some kind of an accordion style, accordion style stuff. But the first thing she said is, first get out your ruler. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's not happening. I don't ruler things. <laughs> She's like, but you got to have your ruler. I'm like, ugh. I don't want a ruler. Yeah, that's one thing if you guys haven't noticed by me, noticed what I do yet, is that I don't use a ruler. Close enough. All right, next, let's just put some strips around here. Why not? Give it some interest, because there's not much as far as interest on this page that I can tell. Unless I'm going to do something really exciting, which I don't know what that might be. Yeah, I'm just adding something to kind of, I don't know, brighten this up a little bit. <laughs> I'm not really sure that painting with the three primaries was a good thing to do. But I think I get to paint again, right? I think so. Let's start you here and let's put you right there. All right. So we've added our masking tape. So that was number four. Number five, um, let's see what we got. Paint with my fingers. That I can handle. All right, so I'm going to stay with these primary colors, and um, I'm going to see if I can make something of this mess. That wasn't all the way dry, so I just did that. This isn't all the way dry. All right, so let's see what we can do. We're going to paint with our fingers. I want more red. There we go. Gosh only knows what I'm going to end up doing here, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the rest of this because I know I'll be here for a bit painting with my fingers because I really would like this page to look like something. So let me go ahead and fast forward.
guys, here she is. <laughs> crazy, crazy eight. Um, <clears throat> talk about totally abstract and just strange. Uh, I thought about putting on a third square, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to let it be. Um, I think it's a very visually interesting because it doesn't matter where you look at something different, but just give you guys a little bit of a close up. Looks pretty funky, doesn't it? And of course, you saw there at the end, I had to get some dots in. There was no way I was not going to do any dots. So the um, this is copper, iridescent copper ink. This is old, Liquidex. Um, so I used that to put the dots in. But yeah, I kind of like how it turned out. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, again, the prompts will be in the description box below. And I would love to see what you do. So definitely share on Artsy Endeavors. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And most of all, don't forget, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I can't wait to see what you do. Talk to you soon. Bye.